Hello and welcome, people of the internet. I am not, in fact, dead. I know y'all missed me. But anyway, let's sit back, relax, and uh, talk about a topic. But first, I just want to let y'all know there will be a quick channel update at the end of the video, so uh... Stay tuned for that if you want to know what's going on with my ridiculously weird upload schedule and why I've been not loading on the internet. Then check out that and yeah. But anyway, so anime, conversation, technology, let's go. There's this incredibly interesting anime called How a Realistic Hero Would Rebuild a Nation. Or a kingdom. Something along those lines. Correct me in the comment sections. I know you want to. More engagement. Hell yeah. Anyway. And one of the lines that I remember very clearly. That sort of caught my attention we'll say. Was when he said that firearms weren't exactly useful. And I thought it was really good that the series took the time to explain why they thought they wouldn't be good. But I just wanted to take a quick moment and explain why I think firearms would still exist in a maybe not exactly similar format to how we have firearms today, but in some form of use. So obviously technology serves a social need, so it will move forward as the society needs it to. If you have a larger population and your population is growing, then your agricultural industry will need to make advances so that it can keep up with the demand of needing more food, because I know this is a shocker, people like to eat food. Yeah, who would have thought? There is a misconception that technology works like a tech tree. You often hear that with people who are interested in the concept of history and all that, but have still yet to learn one of these weird little quirks. Technology plays a key role in every society, but technology doesn't develop the same in every society. And I have just one real last quick point that I think would really set it in stone. Magic users, I think, definitely make it so that firearms would be less necessary, but as we've said before, training magic users can take a large amount of time, as well as a large amount of resources. And so I think training some people to use firearms would be a very effective way to, at the very least, supplement your magic users. So that's just another quick reason, but I just wanted to give a few quick reasons why we may not be seeing it. And I think this would be a really interesting story detail to go through since we've already seen a little bit of this before, is a form of traditionalism where you see nobility trying to stop the production of firearms. I think that historically this has happened before, but it's a little bit more complicated. So I don't really want to... If you guys want a video talking about historical traditionalism, leave that in the comment section below. But I think it would be an interesting story detail to see the nobility stop or at least attempting to stop our main character from producing large amounts of firearms. And so, yeah, that was just a quick video talking about that. Now, as stated before, it's time for a little bit of a channel update. I am still going to be trying to upload fairly frequently, but I recently started back to school, and so my upload schedule has obviously been less frequent. And so I'm going to try and upload, even if I can't pull it off once a month, I'm going to try and do it at least once every two months. Be sure to keep an eye on your uh, video subscription thing. And uh, there's this, this little bell notification. You should definitely, you know, skadoodle your noodle and click that boodle. But yeah, also, here's the everybody's favorite part of every YouTube video begging for likes, subs, and comments. So, uh, you see that, um, that button down there, that sub button. 
it's looking pretty sad and unread. It's 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 looking red, okay? Very red. And you should click it. Make it gray. It'll be happier that way. See? That even rhymed. And there's a little button that you can also click to give this video a happy smiley face. It's called a like button down there. You should you should click that too. Makes the video happy. And tell me what you think. What type of content do you want to see next? I have a few other videos planned out, but I'm probably going to need time to record them because they'll be a little bit more research heavy, I hope. I'd like to start doing more educational style content. And yeah, that's it. So talk to y'all later. Have fun. Enjoy your day. There is now a cat staring at me on my desk, and he demands attention, so I will have to give him pettins. Take care, guys. And so, if you're in a society that has less warfare going on, then military technology won't progress as far. And so, I think for that reason, that would be a great explanation for why firearms haven't really set into the mainstream of the military. But I do think that one of the key reasons why I still think some form of firearms other than artillery and cannons would really develop is the fact that the demon army has been invading. And so, the reason why you don't see medieval castles, for example, as often as they used to, is because with the development of cannons, you could bust through those walls like the Kool-Aid Man, and that wall would be effectively pretty worthless. And so I think it would be a matter of time before some form of, maybe not large-scale production of firearms, but some form of limited production we would see, because one of the three reasons why is firearms are pretty easy to, like, to give soldiers and to send them out with less training. Training archers, for example, is something that is fairly difficult. Archers can be kind of tricky. Archery itself is a skill. And shooting a gun is still a skill, but you can equip more soldiers with firearms and get them more proficient than you can just issuing some troops bows and arrows. It takes more time to train them. I mean, I think a pretty good example of this is when the Japanese tried to invade Korea after the Sudoku Jidai era, and since the Koreans hadn't really been using firearms all that often, they were still primarily using archers. And... The Japanese had a large amount of riflemen in their military. I think it was about one-third of their total invading force was some form of arquebusier. And with that being said, land battles were a little bit dicey, especially when they had to try and quickly round up all their archers. They did quickly develop proper firearms that worked fairly well and were able to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Japanese firearms. But it took time and resources and a whole other thing. We do know that gunpowder is a thing in this world, so it just seems weird to me why it wouldn't be used more. After all, they do still use a large amount of plate armor, and one of the crippling flaws with a bow and arrow is, contrary to what you may see fairly often in anime, it's sort of a pet peeve of mine, but bows cannot actually pierce through full plate armor, especially higher quality plate armor. They may be able to, like, really hurt you in that armor. If you get hit in the helm with an arrow, it's gonna fucking hurt a lot. Damn, that would hurt. Those bows really would pack a punch. Other than long bows, you're really gonna have a hard time punching through heavy armor, and so, giving your general infantry firearms would be a significantly easier way to counter heavy armor. And so, if we don't see it at the very least on the more human side, I think it would be something that I think the demon army would greatly benefit from. And 
it's just, I think at the end of the day, it can also be used in sieges. And so, when you have an enemy fortification, and you're having a hard time breaking through, cannons do exist in this world, so they do use those. But I think setting up more efficient artillery shells, like I, I think you would see more rapid development. And so I think that for the series, I think it would be very greatly viewed as like a tech geek and history geek that you would see more progression as this. So as the series goes on, I would like to believe that this is something that we would see more development on.